Hello there, kitties. I'm Kerry, the vacuum tube witch, again, in my first lab. And this is um, sad news because I will have to move my base of operations uh, for a uh, indefinite period without uh, the access to the real deal professional filming uh, equipment, test gear and tools. I've got very limited resources right now. So Carita is moving to the first first location ever. This is where I learned electronics. Let's try fixing this Oki MB260 printer. Ain't this thing so heavy? How do I get inside? Oh my goodness, this can be discombobulated. The lighting here is lousy, sorry for that. <laughs> We've got two screws on the sides. Taking this apart, where does it take us? Hmm, probably the chess rubbish, not the real deal Philips one. Bloody hell, I ain't got no sputter in this thing. One screwdriver ain't enough. Oh uh, yeah. Looks like uh, there's some there's some screws from below, I guess. How do I raise this pesky little bugger? Watch it, the, the electron is gonna fall out. I can feel the stream of electrons falling on my leg. They are not too heavy. Yeah, let's get moving with removing the sides. Uh, there's, there's this pesky little bugger here. Come on, you pesky little bugger. Mm. 
get the better light for I miss my old camera and mic and <laughs> and lighting and lamp and all the jazz. Discombobulating. How? One more from behind, I guess. on discombobulating. It ain't coming apart that easy. apart. Look at that. Some more electrons fell out. was easier. So, where are the cover screws? Okay, I think I noticed something interesting. Like, I could probably move this whole cover up if I release the latches. Hell yeah, it goes. Stu 
stupid screwdriver. This is the screwdriver. Yeah, got the electronics module right here. Lift the cover. Watch out because the electrons gonna fall out. Now there's one more screw. Oh no! All the electrons fell out. I lost every single one of them. Yeah, look at, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it in this light. Let me move the, let me move the phone and camera. One moment, please. And yeah, we've got a printed circuit board. We've got a 20 volt, 24 volt uh, fan with a uh, speed sensor. Got some electrolytic capacitors. Probably some FPGA. I'm not exactly sure if this is an uh, FPGA. Some uh, insulation cover. A speaker. Ah, that's interesting. It even has a speaker. Does it have a voice communication module? I'm not that sure. Yeah, the USB port. And the main USB port right on the, the back wall. We're assuming the normal view. Disconnecting the ribbon cables and the power cable. I could remove this pesky little pogger, but something locks me. Not anymore. And this is the scanner part. And now I have to remove the back cover. Get down to the power supply section. I probably have to remove one more cover before I can reach that.
doesn't go. But something else seems to go. Uh, remove the top cover of this thing. It's so bloody dusty. And the speaker. Look at this cute little speaker. That's gonna make a nice project. off. I've got more and more trash in the old lab. comes apart. I still can't lift this cover. And let's take a look at the, the fan. <laughs> it's so dirty. I ain't wanna touch this thing. Hmm, is there another way into the power supply? Fucking hell, so many dependencies. We're almost in. I just need to remove the main board.
cabinet, come on. Separate. Oh yeah, one less screw. One less screw is three less screws. So now I can take a deep dive into the power supply module. something that holds this pesky little bugger in this place. What the hell is happening with you? We're almost there. Yeah. Now disconnect the cables. We're in. Let me get a better view on this thing. Then the power supply. Then the switching relay, probably for degaussing or preheating. The main filter cap, the, the full bridge rectifier, <laughs> of course. A few, some, some more filters, I guess. Or the high voltage converter. Switch mode converter. Yeah. Low voltage filter cap. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess that would be it. There's uh, the two twenty two thirty volt uh, power outlet uh, going to the cable. Uh, 
that went somewhere. I'm not sure where. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess that would be for this episode. <laughs> Remember how I said it's gonna be a repair? Of course it was gonna be a teardown because today is the April Fool's Day. <laughs> so, without further ado, stay determined and carry on. <laughs> 